Puma World Order, the greatest that you will see, best that there was, that there is, or there will be. Talk a lot of trash that he talking about is so thick. As for What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am of course CM Puma, wherever you may be and however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. So, in the previous video, at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia, Taurus and Mortis, the Faces of Fear, lost their Tag Team Championship to the Grizzled Young Veterans after James Drake put his feet up on the ropes and cheated to get the victory. Now what happened after the NXT TakeOver went off the air was something to see. Taurus and Mortis, after getting into it a little bit before the matchup, got into it really big in the backstage area. They were uh, raising their voices at each other to start. Then became the shoving, then came the hitting, and before you know it, the two of these guys were battling it out in the backstage area and leaving Philadelphia separately and not as a team after both after they held the NXT Tag Team Championships for over 180 days. And now, as we start the new month here of February and we make our way towards the next NXT TakeOver the uh, week before WrestleMania, Taurus and Mortis are now at each other's throats. Who knows? Look at look at Mortis' eyes staring down his former tag team partner. Who knows what's going to happen between these two men? He's not taking his eyes off of Taurus at all. He is pretty upset because he feels that Taurus is the reason he's not a tag team champion anymore. Taurus is the one who got pinned by uh, James Drake. And even though Drake's feet were on the ropes, Taurus lost the matchup before he even knew what was going on. So in comes Mortis now, looking to take out some anger on his former tag team partner. The former team of Faces of Fear is no more. And once they broke up, Heath Slater and Rhino came over to NXT to fill that tag team gap. But we're gonna see Taurus and Mortis, former partners, going at it. And look at Taurus, I mean, almost can't hold him back. The bell rings, oh! Elbow shot to the face of Taurus and Mortis. Now, oh, gets dropped right on his head. The crowd already chanting NXT. These two men back and forth, back and forth. And a shot to the face. Over the top goes Mortis. Taurus going to bring him right back in. Wow. So far, these guys are really at each other's throats. And you know... They've tag teamed for so long, like I said, 180 days, that they pretty much know what the other person's going to do. But, I don't know, Mortis and Taurus haven't lost a match in a long time. Could this be the first lo a singles loss? I, I don't think uh, they now... A long time ago, Taurus and Mortis, right when they teamed up, uh, faced each other, and Taurus, of course, got the victory. Mortis was upset. He stormed out, which is uh, un understandable. You don't want to lose to your tag team partner, but that's not the case anymore. That's not the case anymore. Death Valley driver from the big man. And a big clothesline to boot. Up on the middle rope and a senton bomb. My goodness. In the previous video, we saw the Faces of Fear taking on the Grizzled Young Veterans. NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. 
in a tornado tag match, which is how uh, that chaotic mess caused the Faces of Fear to lose and a pop-up power slam. Holy cow. And look at this. Shades of the of the last time these two guys met up. This is how it ended. Big spear to Mortis. And this match might be over right away. And it is. Taurus gets the victory over his former tag team partner. Who knows what's going to happen. This thing might boil over all the way to the next NXT pay-per-view. We will definitely have to keep an eye on this. Well, folks, it is no surprise that these two men broke up and clashed after the loss at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Asuka faces uh, Ruby Riot in a promo and wins that one. Carrie Sane beats Alicia Fox. Natalia gets the victory over Sonya Deville. Cassius Ono beats your NXT champion, Johnny Gargano. Taurus, of course, here gets the victory over Mortis. Trey Jeter, your uh, North American champion, beats Oni Lorcan. And the Grizzled Young Veterans in a tag team matchup against Dream and Aleister Black, they get the victory there. We take a look at the news here. Asuka called out Ruby Riot. Tensions thicken. Uh, tensions got out of control. And I don't know who they're mocking, but they were in a match there. We're going to take a look at the rivalries. It is in a very intense rivalry here between Taurus and Mortis. So we're, who knows what we're going to see. Um, Heath Slater and Rhino have come over to NXT to replace uh, Faces of Fear. So there is that. In the power rankings, J, uh, excuse me, Zach Gibson and James Drake, number one and two. Taurus and Mortis. Behind them, three and four, and Jonna Gargano rounding out the top five. In your uh, championships here, you have Taurus number two behind Aleister Black for the NXT Championship. And then over here, you've got Mortis, who's number three, behind Oni Lorcan and Velveteen Dream for the North American Championship. Quite interesting. Yes, it is. As we fast forward here, we're going to head over to week two. It looks like we're going to see quite a bit of Taurus and Mortis coming up. Um, Ember Moon and Alexa Bliss. Baron Corbin, yep. Akam and Razor versus Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. Ugh. That's still going on. That's still going on. That's still going on. All these are still going on. Good lord. Um, let's see... Rivalries here on Monday night. Alexa Bliss and Ember Moon. Roman, how, how much longer? That's cool. I like that. Undertaker and Brock. Then on Tuesday night, we've got Samoa Joe, your NXT, I'm sorry, your SmackDown champion, World Heavyweight champion there. That's weird that, uh, okay. There's, yep. Let's see. So we got Kerry Sane versus Alicia Fox. This is all going to happen in the next video. Shayna Baszler versus Sonya Deville. Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly take on the hunt. Tromba, Johnny Gargano, Cassius Ono in a triple threat. Oni Lorcan versus The Dream. Lars Sullivan, Aleister Black. It's so weird. And the main event, Taurus in the all-white taking on Mortis. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is going to be something. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Mortis... He's only got one attire. Okay, I thought I saw him in a purple attire. I could have been mistaken. But that is going to be in the next video. Very high, very intense matchup uh, between Taurus and Mortis. Who knows what's going to happen. I got a feeling um, it's going to culminate at, uh, at TakeOver New Orleans, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. But... That's it. That's going to be in the next video. See if the power rankings changed at all. Kerry Sane is now number one, knocking down your tag team champions just a little bit. Taurus is way down at number 12 now. And, whoa. I passed him, obviously. Taurus. Where's Mortis? 
Oh, I'm dumb. He's number five. That makes no sense. He lost. I don't know. That is going to be it, guys. Oh, oh, real quick. Let's look at Raw. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. Lex Bliss, Seth Rollins. John Cena. Roman Reigns, your champion, is number seven. That's interesting. Over on SmackDown, Jimmy Uso is number one. Samoa Joe, your, your heavyweight champion. Damn, John Cena's on both shows. Interesting, interesting. Oh, so is The Undertaker. Ugh. All right. That is going to be it in the main event next week. Next video, Taurus and Morris go at it again. We're going to see a lot of that, I think. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're not. Come on back. Former partners, now better enemies.